Hello everybody, for those of you who are new, we start off with uh, a prayer and let's get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. And I pray that you continue to use Christians around the world, Father, to reach people in your name, Father. Father, you know with everything going on, it's hard on us. We're going through so much right now, whether it be Christian or some other religion or atheist. It's just so hard right now and we need to come together and worship you and serve you. Your precious holy name, amen. Okay, so today's daily Bible verse is First Peter 5, 7. Now, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Now, why does he care for us? Well, he created us. God said in the beginning that he uh, created us in his image. Yeah, and he uh, loves us. He said... One of the final things he said to the disciples was, I will be with you always, even until the end of the age. And he means that. So whatever you're going through in life, whatever it is, turn to him. Let him work through you. He did not say that we'd have an easy life, but he says he loves us. And he says that the wages of sin is death. So please try not to sin much. And I say try, and I do, because, well, we all sin. The Bible says we sin. Well, I don't. I don't know if the Bible says this, but I know this from uh, experience that we sin basically every day, or we sin every day, whether that be through a small sin or, like, uh, let's say, uh, stealing a penny to something more uh, to steal like a thousand dollars. The Bible says, for like I said earlier, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. So it doesn't matter what we do, we de we deserve to die and we deserve to go to hell. Now I know that that can be depressing, but listen, God also says, lean on Him, and He will take care of you. Turn to Him. Don't let the devil win. We don't want to lose a good friend or a good family member, and we don't want to see such and such uh, is on drugs now, or such and such got addicted to whatever, or such and such hurt somebody else, or such and such died, or, we don't want to see that, because God loves you, and listen, I'll, I'm not perfect, but you can turn to me sometimes, and I say sometimes because, like I said earlier, I'm not perfect, but I encourage y'all to turn to a local pastor, and to turn to a therapist, why both of them? Well, I think it's a good idea it's simply to get other people's points of view. And they both, uh, well, the therapist is trained in that. The uh, pastor might not be, but hey, it's a, it's a good idea to get a biblical point of view. Because, uh, you know, uh, life can be hard. It can be challenging. But listen, God loves you. No matter what you did in life, no matter who you wrong, no matter who, no matter anything, he loves you. And the Bible says that we will not, uh, <coughs> the Bible says that we will not be allowed to go to heaven based off of our own good works. So does that mean, that means that no matter how good you are, it's, it's not good works that matters, it's your relationship with God that matters. That's what matters, your relationship with God. The Almighty, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Because a lot of us say, well, you know, I'm pretty good. I mean, I'm not perfect, but my good outweighs my bad. No, that's not how God looks at it. God looks at it as you have done bad things before. You don't deserve to go to heaven unless you have a relationship with Him. Which I know, you know, that can be depressing and it can be an eye opener. But look, God loves you. Like I said before, no matter what you did in life, or doing in life right now, no matter who you wrong, no matter who you're going to wrong, he's gonna, He loves you. No matter who you mislead, but he, wa he wants you to get to know Him. He wants you to study your Bible. He wants you to pray to Him. He wants you to worship Him. That way it shows the appreciation for Him. Just turn to him with your problems. Don't turn to the devil. Don't turn to drugs. Don't turn to alcohol. Don't turn to marijuana. Don't turn to all of this other junk. Just turn to him.
I just felt right to say that. Uh, what's the time at? Okay. Uh, yeah, if y'all have any prayer requests, y'all can personal message me. Or y'all can, you know, uh, y'all can uh, put it in the comments up there, down, uh, up there, down there, wherever the heck this is at. Because this goes on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, so uh, just do that. And listen. Don't give up. I know that things can seem bad. I know things that can can uh seem depressing. Just don't give up, please. Like I said earlier, we don't want to lose anybody, whether that be to alcohol or anything, or their or to lose somebody uh with their life. You know, to to hear that somebody died. Because listen, a lot of times you don't realize it's the small things that matter, and you don't realize how how much of uh small things that we have to matter to they go on sometimes. Like me, I have a hard time staying in church because I have Tourette syndrome, which means that I have random muscle movement sometimes, and at church it just it gets out of hand. Sometimes, sometimes it's, and I might have one or two, but sometimes I have like hundreds of Tourette's episodes. And I didn't realize how much of a blessing it was simply to sit in church and to uh, not have that till, I, till my Tourette's started acting up one day at church, one day at church. Also, please keep, uh, you know, uh, it's good to pray for yourself, but we need to keep other people in our prayers, too. Because I say it's good, uh, don't, uh, you know, don't, uh, how should I put this? Don't just pray for yourself, because like God might say, well, you're being very selfish. You only pray for yourself. You don't pray for X, Y, and Z, who you know that's also going through a lot. You don't pray for uh, people that have the coronavirus. But it, but listen, we need to keep other people in our prayers. That's why. And, and it shows that we care for others. And other people might see that and be like, you know, such and such prayed for me. That was very nice of them. You know, it could be. And right now, uh, like, I, like sometimes I need prayers. I'm not perfect. With my Tourette's episodes, it can get bad. A few nights ago, it got bad. Uh, uh, I was having them, like, nonstop. And I didn't go to bed till like, Four or something in the morning. I sit up all night. But I don't like I don't like just to talk about myself, but uh, let me tell y'all a story, okay? Okay, so whenever I was young I had this dream where God told me he wanted me to be a pastor. Well over well years go by and that uh, memory is fading away and I'm not sure what God told me he wanted to be be. So I prayed for him and asked him and then uh, a friend of mine told me that God told him that he wanted me to be a pastor and while that's kind of what I'm doing right now I'm sharing the gospel with other people so maybe it has been fulfilled I don't know I'm not an expert in that I, and I'll probably never claim to be because honestly I don't read the Bible enough but I do you know like I share the word of God, I guess, and I do read, I do do these videos, so that's kind of, uh, and I do do Bible verses, so yeah, I do read the gospel, read the uh, Bible, and I just felt that I wanted to get it off my off my shoulders. I don't know why, but well, I guess to show that there's hope, there's there is hope for a better tomorrow. Because a lot of us can get depressed about here and now, about things that are going on in here and now. And then God's saying, look, don't worry about the here and now. Just worry about, uh, getting, just worry about that later. You, right now you need to worship me, you need to serve me, you need to do, uh, you need to share the gospel. 
Yeah. Anyway, bye guys. See y'all later. And I hope that y'all have been having a blessed day. I know I have.